All right, this is a demonstration of a scroll trigger box builder that you can use. It's based off DreamGrow's WordPress plugin. So without further ado, let's go to wecandothatforyou.com, click on Tools, Scroll Trigger Box. You need to fill this information out. If you don't, it'll slap your wrist, tell you you missed something. Um, but by way of an example, we're going to use the basic AWeber um, form. And this is probably the best way to do it. If you've got an autoresponder that can generate the JavaScript code for your display, use it because there's no formatting issues and you get exactly what you want. So to do that, use the default theme. Choose a cookie lifetime, one day. Show box at the, let's say, 50% point, so halfway down the page. I'm not going to use the element. I want to show up, for instance, an element might be A, the A ref or P for paragraph or pound comment. Uh, box position, I'm going to say on the right hand side. Box width, you got to fiddle around with this. I already know what I want. Box HTML, so I'm going to paste in my AWeber autoresponder form and it's ugly, but for purposes of demonstration, and then click on submit. Now before you get the files, you might as well check it out to make sure it looks the way you want. So scroll down and you should get a demonstration. There it is, it pops up. I just scroll back up, disappear, there it is. If I click it, it goes away and it shouldn't come back because I set the cookie. Okay, fair enough, let's try another one. Let's try the mellow yellow. Let's leave everything there. Um, unfortunately, you need to click box position again. And for this one, I want 350. You can do 350 or 350 px for pixels. And here's just a basic form, nothing fancy about it. I'm going to paste that in. So let's check that guy out. Again, I can download those files. And there it is, it pops up there. Now, if you look, I probably should give it more room because it cuts off. So Let's go back there and change it to 370. And I have to click on that, but if I don't, I get an error message. It tells me what's wrong, so I'm going to click on that. Submit. And let's see how it looks this time. Boy, still not good enough. Let's give it some more room. Let's go to 390. On the right-hand side, submit. Wow. All right, let's just go overboard here and give it like 420 just to be sure. And right, submit. Okay, good enough. So anyways, those are some of the options. Uh, let's try a different one. Big blue, let's do grass green. So you do get some built-in <clears throat> um, themes that you could use or you can just use the default which I think is probably best if you've got your own customized look so there it is alright so let's just say we like it um, and now we're going to download this so scroll, scroll trigger box blah 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 I'm going to save that file I want to go over to my cPanel manager, log in. I want to upload a file. And there is the most recent one. I'm going to open that. It's complete, so I'm going to go back, find it, click on it, extract it. It created a directory called scroll with all these files in it. So I'm actually ready to go. Click on scroll. And basically, I give you some instructions. This is what you need to do. In the header area of your HTML, you need to include this. And at the bottom, just above the closing tag, you need to include this. So if I scroll down, let's make sure it pops up. There it is. I'm sure, this isn't that greatest page, but you can see how it works. And then one other thing, if you were to want to use this um, anywhere else, you would still add in this in the header, 
and down below you'd want to add this just above the body tag but notice I put some absolute URL so if you're in a different directory or on, even on a different site it will call from the right directory so finally let's actually take this code right here and put it onto a page Oops. copy that we're going to create a new page so just above the body tag and in the header I want this so that's right there and let's put in some content I'm just gonna grab this and paste it in so this is what your page would look like. You would have this in the header and this at the bottom. If I save that, I previously had not created this. Let's look at it now. It's ugly. Of course, I can't scroll, so it's not going to pop up. So let's paste in a whole bunch more. Save that. Reload this guy. And there it is. So that's how the scroll trigger box works for pages that are not part of WordPress. That's how you use it. Enjoy.